This is an example of the building we built in Citadel Forged Fire. Someone said I should record it, post it. So, this is what we built. Took a lot of time farming everything. We used circles upon circles to do it, a lot of it. We learned that if you put a circle on top of a circle, it'll support the other circle. This is the top floor where we kind of do most of our stuff. Our mini garden, construction benches, marble farm, our storage, mystical conjurers. This is our main landing pad where you first come in. So you can just land, drop off your stuff. This is the west side of the building. We'll go to the other side, give you a kind of an outside tour. So a lot of farming, a lot of figuring out how to testing as well. We went into a personal server to test it. A little pathway that goes up. A little side pathway drops down to a massive tower that links into a whole system network of paths. Go all over the server to our little smaller outposts. Okay, let's go back inside. This is a pathway that goes up so that you can get to the internal tower so everybody can have access to it. Let's go back inside our place though. We have a trap door here. This leads to our power room. The power room is linked to the whole building and it powers the whole entire place. So we don't have multiple power stations, just one big massive power station with over 150 power stations and room for expansion and also we have taken this whole underground thing so that we can power everything kind of like a uh, power nodes that go out through the whole building so we don't have to have them laid out above and that way we can power everything and you don't have to see them makes it kind of convenient go back upstairs or to the main level where we kind of hang out. But there is a basement and a basement below the basement. So we drop down here. This is where we're going to put some future conjurers. And you can even have more conjurers and below the conjurers. Once we get the time and energy and resources to do so. But this wraps around the whole base underground with pathways. That goes back into the power room. And then we can go back upstairs through a tiny little passage. Our res station repair area. The crafting stations. Now we're going to go to the bottom bottom. And we can just go straight down this. One of our favorite tunnels that go down or pathways or steps looks very cool as you go down this takes us to our main garden and it's not small by any chance and it's a double layer thickness we're gonna make it two and then have double layer sprinklers doing both so that's the garden below the garden As we go down, 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 close the doors behind us. We have another trap door, and this takes us to the hidden library. And in the hidden library, there's hidden doors with secret cabinets. 
So if someone actually does come in here for some reason and is able to get in here, they're not going to find everything. Unless they're really, really diligent. <laughs> Which they might be. Okay, back out of the hidden library. Once we leave the hidden library, we're going to one of my favorite rooms that took us forever to figure out. And that's the animal pen. The animal pen is so big, it has spawns inside of it that happen on a regular basis. So, animals, we keep our animals in here. Those are, that are in, not in the chest, we just plunk them on top of the food. And then they'll eat. But we have our main storage for tames to do quests. You need precious stone, it respawns. But here's the coolest part. No, no in between supports. Everything is being supported by circles. Circles on top of circles holding circles. And that allows you to get a ceiling like this. And you can do this over a large area. Pretty much letting you cover any shape and size. And all of this is powered by the main house. So we don't have any generators going back here. The food troughs, they're getting powered from the main house because we bring the power in through the back. So if we come in here, You'll notice that this goes up and in behind. The power nodes are here. And then they go inside underground. So everything has been powered. This goes out to that major tower that you saw beforehand. That goes down. Now this is one of my fun funnest things to do in this game. We go to this tower to do this one little thing. Here we go, boys and girls. How far can he go without dying? Woo! Ah! Ooh! And I lived. Woo! Yeah! And this comes out here. And this leads to a whole network of paths that we have across the server to connect our hubs. Because we've learned that if we didn't have them all connected by one house, when someone leaves the guild or they stop playing the game, that we're trapped and we only cannot do all the outposts, locations, and things that we need with just maybe one or two of us. So we built a network of paths, passages. Not finishing them 100%, but they're in the process. That's our build for our main guild hall that we made. We were kind of proud of it. it took us a lot of effort. I gotta make sure that door closes. We're still in the process. Like we want to finish the trim with obsidian or ornate. I mean, so a lot of it is in a hundred percent, but. That's our massive build. One of the cooler things is the inside when you look up. And if we can get the lighting in there later, it's going to look even awesomer. But that's Citadel Forged in Fire. Fun game. Could use some tweaks and some changes to make it a little bit better. But definitely a fun game to play. Hope you had fun. I'm Easy Knight. This is our build. Have a good day, guys.